It's a devil wind that blows when there's a hole in your coat. And December snow is ugly when your boots have come apart. And you can't see a bright tomorrow through the darkness of today. And the country isn't pretty when you're hungry. The trail is long and empty when a gunfight's just been won. And another may be waiting beyond the morning sun. But somewhere there's a someplace, a place where I belong. Somewhere a man don't need a gun to tell him right from wrong. And it's a devil wind that blows when there's a hole in your coat. And December snow is ugly when your boots have come apart. And you can't see a bright tomorrow through the darkness of today. And the country isn't pretty when you're hungry. It's a devil wind that blows when there's a hole in your coat. And December snow is ugly when your boots have come apart. And you can't see a bright tomorrow through the darkness of today. And the country isn't pretty when you're hungry. your leg a little bit. Otherwise, you don't stand a chance, you know. Just take it easy. Take it easy. No breeze come from any of the other windows. in school. School's finished for the summer. Helping Alvarez put up some bullfight posters. Why don't he just play like other kids? Nobody made him, Will. He wants to do it. He gets a penny for every five he does. He don't need Alvarez's pennies. 
Next thing folks will be expecting me to send you back working for them. You ain't sending me or keeping me anywhere I don't want to be. You ever going to know that? Stranger coming. Afternoon. Horse come up wrong? Still going to that barbecue on Sunday, hmm? There's gonna be a hayride on Sunday. <laughs> hey, isn't that the way Bud come into this world? Hmm? You remember that hayride at the Crossleys? Just after we was married. <laughs> that was no hayride. <laughs> Just the two of us and my pa's rig. <laughs> well, I guess there's times when a man can't tell the difference between grass and hay. Hmm? Cutting might have helped. I sucked some of the poison out of it. No question, he's been sickened. Think you can take care of him for me? Keep him clean and fed. Dollar a day suit you? What'd he say? Might be something says who he is in his blanket roll here. Go on. You get back to work. Say, you reckon he means to take the bank? Go on. He ain't gonna leave his horse here and then wander over and take no bank. Well, who is he? I don't know his name, but he's gunfighter, all right. <laughs> you think I ain't learned to smell gunfighter in my time? He sure enough smelled all right. Comes to uh, $177 and 20 cents. I'm sorry, that's all it weighs out to. All right, give him the money. Need your name? It's a bank rule. Have to keep a record in case of claim jumping, things like that. It's a bank rule. Abel Cross. Abe Cross? Why, sure. Well, I don't know him right off, except for all that hair and dirt. I heard a Santa Fe posse strung him up years ago. Might be they did, but he come out of it some way, kind he is. Say, you know, fella told me about Cross facing down Bill Bonney one time. And you know, they didn't come much faster than the kid. Uh, Ringo was faster, and Will Tannery took him. Well, Will don't like the story told, but that don't mean it ain't true. He's coming out of the bank. Come busting into a house. What is it, Bud? Abe Cross is in town. Look, what do you mean he's in town? Who says so? He does. I heard him myself. <laughs> oh, Kyle says Cross is the fastest man with a gun there ever was. Well, that's been said about lots of fellas. Most of them dead now. Toby Leach says you was faster. Hmm? Toby Leach is a fool, yeah. Ain't it true, Paul? That's enough here. 
Now you go down to Swanson's and fetch me a turn of black thread. Oh, man. Well, never mind that. Then. Just get you. Damn. What'd you say? Nothing. Likely heard of you, same as you or him, hmm? Well, likely. Why are you taking your old gun? It's more comfortable. That's all. Comes to three dollars forty cents, Mrs. Gray. We have larger sizes, my friend. Size is all right. It's, uh, it's my hair that don't fit. You'll have to excuse me. The way folks have been acting lately, I must be smelling kind of ripe. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Franco, everything all right? Yes, of course. You must be Abe Cross. That's right. How much? Nine dollars, fifty cents. I'm Tom Cater, Deputy U.S. Marshal for this town. I was wondering, Mr. Cross, uh, how long you'd be staying? Now, why does that matter? Oh, just the ordinary doing of my job, you understand? No, I don't, Deputy. My horse is laid up sick at your smitties, and I can't travel till he can. Thank you. You been told Will Penray's here? Uh, I guess you ain't. I see you know who he is. Know who he was? What do you mean he's here? He lives here with his wife and son. Works at the Riata Palace Saloon. Does Will know that uh, Mr. Cross is here? He must by now. Henry's been here almost a year now. Living peaceful. Well, now that's just fine with me. I got no reason to break your peace either. And I don't want any. <laughs> Is 
that? It's going to be busy. Listen, even if Cross don't show, folks are going to be thinking he will. Should me enter in the scene? Not sure, I will, but you and Cross in the same place at the same time? It's going to be a lot of watching and waiting. You know, men get thirsty watching and waiting. Seems like a good time to push you for a raise. Well, I wouldn't argue that it wouldn't be worth, say, uh, ten extra dollars to me. Would you argue twenty? Oh, and I will. Twenty? <laughs> sure, twenty. For the time that Cross is here in town. Never met the man, seems already I'm obliged to him. <laughs> hey, Will. If it ever comes to it, you think you can take Cross? Won't come to it. Yeah, but if it did. I don't care what you saw Abe Cross do in Amarillo. I got $5 gold, says Will Tannery can stop any man that throws down against him. Is anybody going to cover that? I'll cover gentlemen, that. gentlemen, am I drinking alone? <laughs> How about 30? Mr. Cross? I I'm Newt Hale. I guess you don't remember me. I was drumming harness in Virginia City one time when you was there. I'm in business here now. Uh, Mr. Cross, I wanted to ask you, uh, I mean, uh, I hope you don't take it wrong, my asking, but uh, are you really going against Will Tenry, like they're saying? I've never been a betting man, Mr. Cross, and less so since I got a wife and three kids, but I am a businessman in this town, and if this fight talk is just talk, well, if it don't happen, yeah. and you ride out, then all bets are off, you see. Bets are off, but not forgotten. It sure wouldn't hurt my business none if it got out that I was back in Tenry. It seems he's kind of the local favorite. He's going to go on living here, too. You go ahead and place your bet. Thank you, Mr. Cross. I, I want you to know... Thank you, Mr. Cross. Sometimes. Eat Mexican. 
that where you got the dust? Mexico? Heard you traded some at the bank. Then you heard it wasn't much. Depends how long you scratch for it. Six, seven months. $177. They don't even come to car folks pay. I hope to do better. Yeah. Don't we all? I don't know. You living steady in one town. Got yourself a nice family. You could talk about some, too, you know. But all in all, Tenere, you don't seem bad located here. Making wages is all. About as much a month as I used to spend in a day. Yeah, but without getting shot at. Getting talked at near as bad. Marv here pays me to stand around so the cow folks will buy drinks. Then they start asking me, how are things in Dodge, Kansas City, Tombstone? I bet you're really the one that can tell them, huh? You being funny? No. No, just remembering Kansas talk. They say you killed Ringo. Damn. It's like me here and you were strung up dead by a posse in Santa Fe. Well, that ain't exactly the truth, but... Somebody sure enough killed Ringo. <laughs> Can't argue that. I liked Ringo. So did I when he was sober. I'll never forget when he fell flat on his face, come out of the long branch, stood up yelling, Herp, come out and fight. <laughs> Old Herp. He never was one to risk anything just to put on a show. No, no, he wasn't. As you can bet, there are plenty wondering how it would have come out. Hey, Marv, how about a cigar? Now, what's some of your friends are doing now? What? Wondering how it'd come out. Yeah, playing with themselves. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. That's my feeling. Think we ought to tell them? Hell no, and spoiled business. That's why I'm here. Men get thirsty watching and waiting. I'm Marv. Well, everybody got to be somewhere doing something. Yeah. Hey, Tenere, I think I'll chance a bellyache on that. Let's sit down. Come on now, Jenny. Give me a little kiss. Now, don't tease me, Dave. Jenny, now, how about the two you go around dancing for a while? Come on, you dance around. Pretty good dance I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I thought for a minute they were going to ask to look at our teeth. Yeah, they'll sift a sack of grain with their fingers to see they're not cheated a cent. They don't think twice of betting twenty, fifty dollars to see which one of us can kill the other. Does that bother you? Yeah, I think it does in some way, but. Well, let's say we did throw down against each other. Oh, hell, we ain't gonna. But if we did, whoever bet on the winner would get a pocketful, but what do we get? I mean, the one left standing. Oh, a lot of back slapping, some free drinks. Shit. Maybe we all sell tickets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm? What are you looking at, the girl or the game? I've been away from both for a long time. Well, the game's fair, but tough. How about the girl? What? What's her name? Jenny! Sunday to watch you fight the bulls, huh? Well, what will you and the little lady have to drink? 
Thank you, ma'am. But uh, Manuel Alicante wishes to buy a drink for everybody. For <laughs> me to get rid of him? I don't want him sold for meat. You want him put on the ground, get a couple fellers, put a reasonable pay. No, I'll do it myself. Where's the nearest free range? A couple miles east of town. I'll need to run a team and a wagon to haul him in. I guess I'll be needing to know where I can buy a horse if there's one for sale. Um, Nate Canberra's got that mouse-colored gelding that he don't need since his boy ran off the cavalry. Could ask him. Pretty good horse. Oh, he's waiting for him. Just the same. It's just kind of early up for you. I ain't been to sleep at all. How come? Couldn't sleep for thinking. <laughs> Man goes on pretending long enough, he then he starts forgetting what he's become. And he sees it in front of him. I don't see you the same as me. Why? Because I got a wife and kid? And a job. A job. Suckering fools to buy drinks. Except I wear my pants on the outside. I'm a little different from Jenny you laid with last night. Guess I know what you're talking about. I worked a job myself before I went off prospecting this last time. Doing what? <laughs> Trick shooting, the medicine show. Besides me, they had a midget and a tattooed fella. <laughs> that says it better. <laughs> Say, Abe, uh, where are you going from here? Going nowhere till I buy myself another horse. Is that all you want? I ain't short on wants, Tenere. But I don't see where it's any of your business. Yeah, it could be. What way? The way you said last night? 
I'll sell them tickets. Tickets? You mean tickets for folks to watch us kill each other? That's what I mean. Oh, come on, man. You gotta know I said that to show you what a fool thing well, it let's was. Let's think about it a second. Both of us come right out and say we're gonna face off. Now, what in the hell are you let talking me about? finish. We say we're gonna do it. All those men betting on us women, too, can't keep them looking at us, afraid they're gonna miss something. You think they wouldn't pay? Pay a lot to see us shoot it out? No, they wouldn't. Not as long as they knew it was some kind of show. But you're not talking about some kind of show, are you? No, I'm not. Then what you're saying is that one of us ought to really kill the other. Is that what you're saying? Winner take all. Loser won't need any. You know, Tenray, little as I know you, I had you figured a lot more sensible than you are. Damn. All right. Smart fella. Buy a cheap horse and suck up to some friend of yours for a job. Damn if you don't mean it. Where are you going that's better than where you've been? Just don't worry for me, huh? I don't. I worry for me. I got a horse, mister. But I ain't going nowhere, neither. Do more prospecting, but next time you dig a hole, crawl in and stay there because you're so goddamn stupid. Yeah. Ain't this familiar? What do we do now? Draw? I don't want to kill you, Tenere. I don't want to kill you either. What's that got to do with it? God damn it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. This will be the last chance. I'm talking about money. Big money. Get out of my way, you son of a bitch. Ah! Ah! I'll lay twenty dollars even. Cross never gets a shot off against Henry. My money's on Cross. He's a natural killer. Henry's been living soft here in town. He knows better than a chance his luck against Cross. Now he's cleaned up. He don't seem much different than anybody else. Nice looking, almost. Henry's been a hide gun. Gun fighting's his business. Cross is scared. Look at him. Cross and Tannery, they got to fight sooner or later. They got to. Tannery wants to kill somebody. Ought to be his wife and that Alvarez, the trash they are. Abe Cross and Will Tannery. What do you know? Bet it's the first time in a long while since either of them met up with somebody's own size. Get a horse for about a hundred dollars. Don't know no hundred dollar horse. Based one you'd ride from this town to the next. Give me the price of a decent horse. Nothing in town this time of year. Maybe, maybe one of the ranchers. I don't know nothing about herding beef. What do you know?
how you figure on doing it. How many seats in that bull ring? You figure a full house. Does your wife know about this? You just take your 10% for selling tickets and advertising. You don't own that bullfight place. We could go across the border and make our own deal. Something bothering you, Alvarez? What you plan is ugly. Don't you think it is ugly? What's so pretty about a bullfighter and his friends chopping up some poor bull for money? That is not the same. You do not fight in anger or defense. How can the winner live? <laughs> a lot better than he's living right now. What are you doing? Don't matter where I am during the day. I don't go to work till seven. Well, you can't stay here. I got things to do. Well, I thought being strange in town and not knowing anybody, you might want to talk. About what? Oh, I don't know about what. Anything you like. What's the difference? <laughs> Is that your breakfast? Milk? I ain't hungry. Hey, you know Tenere's wife. Mrs. Tenere? Well, sure, I'm not to meet, but I know who she is here. Know anything about her and this fella, Alvarez? Oh. She was working for Alvarez in his store before she and Will got back together. Just working? She and the boy had their own rooms, if that's what you mean. But Alvarez was over there most every night. For dinner, you know. How long? How long what? Was he over there? No, I mean, how long she worked for him that way? More than three years. She and Will were separate about eight, I think. Makes no difference what they did or didn't. You know, town talk. Imagine Will heard some of that town talk, didn't he? Not to his face, but... Why'd he say something to you about it? No. Okay, you can go now. What are you so mad at? Who says I'm mad? Well, look at yourself. The way you're grumping and pushing. Last night, you were so easy and all. Now you'd as soon shove me up the window as the door. Bet that's never happened to you, huh? What's happened to me ain't no excuse for the way you are. Hey, almost forgot. Marv said I shouldn't. I don't care what Marv said, and neither do you. I'd like you to take it, Jenny. I'm asking you. Am I going to see you later? Yeah, I'll be in there. I don't mean in there. I mean afterward. Yeah. Okay. Last night you come home and you tell me what a fine fellow this cross is. Well, we ought to have him by for dinner, you well, said. that's still so. 
Oh, yes, you're fine friends now just because you sat down easy as you please and decided to kill one another. That don't Nora, mean that you're not... Nora, now, don't put an edge to what you don't know. He's got needs, same as me, and what we agreed to fits us both. Well, it don't fit me, Will. And it won't fit your son growing up without you. Already got me whipped? Well, that never happened before, else I wouldn't be here. Abe Cross is here, too. I know that. But I also know that Alvarez says there could be five, six thousand dollars waiting for us when this is done. Franco. What are you surprised at? Oh, you thought he was some kind of cucaracha saint, huh? He's helping you in this? He's hoping to help himself. And to more than 10% of the money if it turns out the way he'd like. Oh, Will, please. Please, please, please what? Franco. Wasn't he hoping to hear me dead all the years you were working for him? But well, wasn't he? For Christ's sakes, do I need to sign and tell me what everybody in this town knows? He didn't want me back. He didn't want you to take me back. And he's been waiting this year quiet and gentle for us to bust up. Well, I can't help what anybody else feels, Franco or anybody else. But it don't change what I feel. You and Bud, there ain't anything for me worth risking either of you. Nora, I don't do this for risking more. That's not true. That's saying we got nothing to lose. You can't say that, Will. You can't lose a man if you ain't got one. I ain't been much of that since I came back. That's not true. Oh, look, darling, we ain't two kids going into bed for the first time. Christ, a man's got a family, a wife, a son. He's got to do for that family, else he's just a joke. You're a liar. You're a goddamned liar. You don't give a damn about the money or the land or anything else. You want to be Will Tenery again. Will Tenery with a gun in his hand. Mr. Cross? Mr. Cross, I was just overdoing some business with Alvarez, and he said that he, you fellas were going to continue. You already made your bet on Tenere, is that it? Uh, yes, but only because you said you yeah, were Yeah, you might make yourself some money. Uh, no, sir. I've never bet Tenere against you in a real fight. Oh, how come? Because I saw you that one time up in the... You ever see Tenere? No, sir, I didn't. Excuse me. But, Mr. Cross, you promised Listen. me that... You stay the hell away from me, you hear? Yes, sir. That there's Nora Tenery, Will's wife. Yeah. I wonder if I could get you fellas to do something for me. Let me find this Canberry that's got the gelding for sale. respect for you if you'd have took a gun and gone after him in the street. Then I would be more like him. But you didn't want me like him. When your son needed a father, and he was not here. When you needed a man, and he was not here. It wasn't like that. It was like that, Nora. You could lie to me. But your body could not. Stop it. I don't think about that anymore. And it don't matter what happens, you understand? It don't matter if Will gets killed or what. I ain't coming back to you, Franco. I ain't never coming back. Where will you go then? Howdy, my name's 
Bailey. Brought you a drink one time down in Galveston. The time you was called out by Barney Hell? How they do. <laughs> they really betting some fella against you in a gunfight? This fella, Will Tenere. Yes, sir, I've heard of you. I've seen Mr. Cross here. Me and my boys got $400 back in Abe Cross. Any take it. I'm interested in a drink. <laughs> That ought to put the fear of God into you. Well, I ain't fighting God. Unless you've been holding out on me. Uh, Mr. Cross? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Cross? Yeah, this here's me, Canberra. Oh, hi. How you doing, Mr. Canberra? I'm Abe Cross. I know who you are, but that don't matter to me. Now, don't start bulldogging Nate. Here, have a drink. I'll drink one trade. It's a good horse. Worth every bit of $300, and nobody's taking it for less. I don't care who you are. I see. Well, Will here tells me it's a good sound horse, all right, and his word's good enough for me, but Will put the value of the horse at about 250, right, Will? It's my opinion. Your opinion, my horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, Mr. Canberry, I'm going to pay you a price you're asking for your horse, but I just ain't quite got that much on me right now. And his credit ain't too good. <laughs> Through Avenue of Fun, I got bearing this to do. Wait a minute, I ain't made my offer yet. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll pay you $50 now. You give me the use of the horse till a week from this coming Sunday. And at that time, I'll pay you 250 more. Over my dead body. <laughs> of course, now, uh, if I ain't up to paying you that 250 more, a week from this coming Sunday. You keep that 50 in your pocket, take your horse back. You pay my full price a week from Sunday or I keep the money in the horse too? That's right. I hadn't made, had this much fuss made over me in a long time. That, the first thing you said to me all night. Oh, is that right? Well, I thought I said enough this morning to last a while. You knew this morning you were going to do this thing with Will, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you tell me? What for? So I'd have known that's what for, for someone else told me. What difference it made? I don't know, but it makes a difference. That's all. I'd like to pull you quit now. I don't care, you hear? He started it. Never mind who started what. I got my own ideas on that, too. Now get him on his horse and back where he come from. Okay, you two, Jesse, go home and stay there. I think we have to make arrangements. bell in town rings every hour. Next Sunday, on the fourth stroke, the gunfight will begin.
caballero. Next Sunday, at the same time, you will see something that has never been seen before. Not a man at the ball, but two men. These two men will meet here in a gunfight to the death. Estos dos hombres se enfrentarán en un duelo a muerte. Gunfighter's gonna put on some kind of show here this coming Sunday. Whose idea was it? Well, both of them, kind of. Uh huh. All right, why don't we get some pictures over here under this sign? Surrounded by your gallery of admirers. Why don't you guys uh, step out of porch, yeah? Are you ready, Joy? In a minute, Mr. Flurry. Okay. I was wondering, uh, what happens with the money? Uh, not the money it's been bet, but your money, the ticket money. What happens if, uh, well, if nothing happens? What do you mean? I mean, if you should both miss, say. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hadn't thought about that, Mr. Flurry. Guess we're not as smart as him. Oh, I just meant, uh, I mean, it's possible, isn't it? Yeah, it's possible. Everything's possible, but... Say, do you think they sent these two fellows all the way here for free? I told you I was from the El Paso Herald. Well, Gene told us how much they was paying for our talks, our pitches. Paying? Yeah. <laughs> now, we don't pay for news. Well, we don't post for pictures without getting paid. <laughs> So you better pack up and take the next stage back to El Paso, and you can tell them the news. Come on, Abe. Oh, wait a minute, George. Wait a minute, fellas. I'll give you $10 for the pictures. I was thinking 25 Each. Oh, come on, that's, uh... Fine? Hey, did you hear him say that's fine? Not out loud. Not yet. All right, come on, come on. Now. <laughs> There you are. And here you are. You'll be ready now, Joy. Yeah. All right, first, let's have one shaking hands, if you don't mind. Look this way, please. Hold it. All right, now let's get one with the guns drawn. <laughs> no, no, facing each other. Ready now? Hold it. Good, I've got it. All right, now one smiling. Come on now, big smile. Hold it. Excuse me, y'all. I'm looking for Abe Cross and Will Tenere. Now, this here is Mr. Tenere. This is Mr. Cross. How do you do? 
I'll fight one of you. Either one, it don't matter. Troy, wait a minute. Set it up here. Set the camera up here. All right, move out and out of here. Hey, young fella. What do you want to fight for? Money. Same reason you wanted each other. Figure me, if I kill one of you, then the other one has to fight me for the money come Sunday. Now, ain't that right? That's your reason. Now, what's ours? Keep from getting killed, I guess. That's enough from all of you. You go on right out of here, or I'm going to arrest you. I ain't done nothing to be arrested. Look, old man, why don't you just step aside? I'm standing where I'm standing. Tom, it ain't worth it. You telling me how to wear my badge? It ain't his doing, he's here. It's yours, yours and his. Oh, I can't stop what you're planning across the border. But I sure as hell got to say to what happens right here. You want your horse or you want the knight in the jailhouse? You need help making up your mind, I'll give you some. Don't you come at me. That's forcing the fight, and you know it. I know what I said. Done. He pushed me to it. I could have killed him, but I didn't. It's not him I want. Then do what you want. I was thinking, with all the fuss going on till the fight. What do you think? Well, about Bud. Maybe it'd be a good idea to put him on the stage to Austin in the morning. Let him spend the time with the Morgans. They got kids his age. Well, you won't be around me, huh? 
No, not the way you are now. The way I am now is the first time he's noticed me from furniture the whole year I've been back. What, am I not supposed to like that? For yourself, maybe, but not for him, Will. I'm thinking of him. And I'm not, huh? Has he asked you yet to show him how you use your gun? He will. You know he will. You want him to think that's all his pa's got to teach him? To give him? Well, maybe it is. No, don't tell me that now. Nora, for God's sakes, what do you want from me? I want you to live. I want you to show you some that you don't have to kill somebody to live. Sounds fine in words, but it don't get a man what he wants. Will, what do I have to do to stop you? Don't stop me. Help me. I'm going to have to kill a man. Might be the last good friend I got. But you don't have to. Yes, yes, I do, Nora. I want things to be different. We could buy McIntyre's ranch. Think about that. I can only think he might kill you. Ain't you told me from the day we met the thing I know best is guns? Hmm? Pa. I'll be right up. No, no, I, I ain't never gonna be beaten no gun fight. That's the only thing in this goddamn world I'm sure of. Forty-five Colt. I need about a hundred. How much? A dollar and a half. Something on your mind? Thought maybe you'd want to wish me luck or something. Thank you. Come on. Yeah. Easy car. Done that in a while. Can I try it, Paul? Not yet, son. It takes a little learning. Mac, we make a deal. That horse gonna be part of it. You'll get what you pay for, Will. Besides, I can't retire and take this horse with me. Yeah. I love that animal. All right, bud. Come on there. I'll show you the rest of the spread. Sure, Pa. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mac. Bye, Mr. McIntyre. We'll Thank see you. Ya. Moving east from that gorge is more than 100 acres. Enough to run beef, grow own feed. Do you like that? Hmm? What'll I do after school? Oh, you're helping me. Ah, you wouldn't know. You've lived in other people's rooms all your life, but you'll feel different when you got your own place. How's it feel? What? What you said, having your own place. Well, I don't know. Never had it. Moved around too much, but seen other folks. That's why I want it for us. Okay. Hmm? What do you mean, okay? <laughs> huh? Didn't mean nothing, just okay. Hmm. What is it, Pa? Hmm. You just stay here.
I told them what you asked. They're arguing it now. But Will could do the job. You you told him that you, th you thought he could, didn't you? But it ain't up to me. Some of them feel that giving Will my badge would bring in more trouble than it would stop. Tom, what will you do now? Oh, I guess if I can shave and put my pants on alone, I'll find something. Good night, Nora. Nora, the council voted against reckoning the will for deputy. Huh? You all vote the same way? The seat of voting. Obliged to respect that. I'm sorry, Nora. Even to you. What do you think is true? I voted against him. For the good of the town? That also, yes. And for me. Oh. You were the kindest man I ever knew, Franco. I was a fool. I don't understand anymore. I don't understand anything anymore. Seventy-five, nothing at a hundred. I'm all in. You knew that when you bet me. Yeah, I guess I did. Tell you what, Dave. You'll be shy a hundred. If you win, one of us will pay you tomorrow. One of you? Yeah. Oh. Is that all right? Sure, that's fine. Then I'll call you. Jack's full. Beats a flush every time. Gentlemen. Hey, thanks anyway. Don't thank me. You may be the one paying. Mark stand and the drinks, why don't we sit down for a while? Well, my dad always said, tired and broke, pack your boat. He never was very fun. See you tomorrow. Don't you want to be with me? Good night, Jim.
all right? Yeah, I'm fine. She didn't know what she was doing. Should have. What's happened, it ain't your fault anymore than his. Any more than everybody else's, for that matter. Who's everybody else? Folks in this town and riding in this town are betting buy tickets. You and Will wouldn't even be meeting tomorrow if folks wasn't paying a watch. Yeah, I guess that's so. But we always had a chance to pass those folks by, didn't we, Jenny? Abe. Abe! Oh, I don't want to fuss with a man who's likely to be buried tomorrow. I shouldn't have said that. But you think that's the way it might be, right? I don't want to think it, but it could turn out that way. Jenny, there's nobody faster with a gun than me. I've known it ever since I was a kid, ever since the first time I ever picked up a gun. There's nothing good or bad about it, and certainly nothing brave or noble, but that's just the way it is. It's something I can do, and it's something I can do better than anybody in the whole world. Where are you going? I'm back to my place. I don't want you to. I you did. Don't now.
Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes, it will be four o'clock, and the bell in your church tower will ring four times. The last bell will be a signal for the gunfight to begin. Canberra for the horse. That'll cover what I lost in poker. Jim? I was just thinking that uh, I'd like to give you something. What? maybe. There's something. Thanks anyway. Well, if you ever get up to San Francisco sometime. Me? What for? Well, I'll be there. No. Don't think you will. You're gonna ride north through towns where they heard what's going on down here. And some fellow, somewhere, is going to think he's faster than you are. Going to want to fight you for money again. Hell, I don't need money now. Hell, that's no. It ain't the money, Abe. It's you. Yeah, well, when did you get so smart that you know what I'm going to do? Last night. Yeah, you just might be wrong, you know. I hope so. 
Bye. Bud, it's time to go now. This whole town. <laughs> You'd think I'd done something to them the way they're acting. I never did like this dirt land anyways. You know, I've seen places in Wyoming, Colorado territories, even Kansas. A lot better land than they got here. And I bet for no more money than McIntyre's asking. As soon as I find the right place, I send for you and Bud. Huh? Wherever you go now, there'll be men wanting to try you for money again. The hell with them. We got money now. I have to take care of things while I'm gone. The other half to put down a deposit when I find the place we want. Stay here. I thought it over. You like the McIntyre place? Remember all the things you was going to do to fix it I up? I said I thought it over, didn't I? Not right away. 